What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to live stream takeover. You can see that I am dominating the entire screen at the beginning of this week's video because Matt is going to be late. He will be here, but currently he is getting his butt kicked by a 12 year old girl on the go kart track. Uh, actually, I haven't talked to Matt at all today, so I have no idea if he was there early practicing. I sent him a message like I normally do on Wednesdays, like around two or three, being like, hey, do you have a title that you want for your side? Um, and he didn't respond. So I'm guessing that he was there hours early getting some practice in. It's just a thought. Not 100% sure, but if I was to guess, that's what's happening. But live stream takeover this week is episode 213. 213 episodes in. Uh, check in where you're watching from and if you have tried Liquid Death yet, because I'm drinking Rest in Peach currently, courtesies of Andy C. And it's so good. I don't normally like peach flavored things anyway. So, uh, but since Matt was late today, I decided to arrange some guests. So Matt and I, if you may, maybe haven't seen or heard, we are building buggies. Well, I'm building buggies and giving one to Matt so that he can finish it. Uh, because we're going to go to Colorado at the beginning of June for the We Are Sea Rock Nationals. And it's being hosted by a couple of guys out of Colorado. One being Ty Geibel, the other being David Kapek. Uh, and I'm going to have both of those guys on. I wouldn't normally have two guests, but since Matt won't be here, three people is common on this show anyway, so we're going to have both of them in, and uh, we'll have them help fill the void, not that I couldn't just talk and talk and talk myself until Matt came, but we'll make it happen. Uh, <laughs> Black Sheep RC, thank you. So no, Matt, let's party. <laughs> I agree. All of the things. We can work on Lexan right now. We can, uh, what else can we do that while well, Matt isn't here? I don't know. We could weld, but <laughs> is YouTube all messed up or is it just me? I don't know. I haven't been on YouTube uh, this evening yet. I've been working on uh, build off or build along. I keep saying build off and I don't want to say that. It's build along, but a little bit of what you may have seen uh some of the reels and things like that but this is matt's buggy i finished his chassis it is a hundred percent done uh i was going to be sending it off already but i haven't done that yet uh because i've been using it to kind of work out some more of the items here and there um but his chassis is a hundred percent done and ready to go to him so that he can work on uh you know these final details as things go which is super Super exciting. I'm excited. Now, he doesn't get these axles and all that links skid plate. He is going to have to do all that himself. Uh, he is going to get only the welded portion of this. So, uh, But the guys that are coming on here, Ty and David, they have a bunch of buggies handy. And we're going to look forward to seeing what they <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Captain Insane Shells person. Try some Crown Royal Peach with Sprite Seven Up. Um, I don't know if I'm. I I've I've never been much of a whiskey person. I just don't know if I have it have it in me. If I've got enough, I mean I've got a lot of hair on my chest, but I don't know if I have enough hair on my chest, as they say. Jeremiah Salberg, thank you very much. Uh, damn, I was just at Walmart and I forgot to pick up some Liquid Death. Uh, have you ever found a rear bumper for the D12 truck? I can't find one. I have not. Uh, I've never, I, but I, I also have not looked. So probably my first problem with that. So um, <laughs> did you make attachments for leaf springs? <laughs> Actually, uh, on these buggies, currently I've got some SADs, some 90 millimeter SADs set up in droop, just no springs troops out. Uh, but I worked with Pricey Customs. He's out of Australia um, on some shocks for these specifically. So uh, gave him the length that I needed, the travel, 
uh, all that. And he built us some shocks and they're already on the way. Been working on that for a couple of weeks. I don't know, maybe less than that. Uh, but I had everything in CAD already, so I could just tell him this and this and this, and we just worked it out. Um, so he's great. He is super busy. So uh, I know I got an auto response from him as soon as I did, like, hey, super backed up, things like that. Uh, but once he had got a chance to get back to me, we got through the order. He was super helpful and like asked a bunch of questions on setup and tuning and what the weights and how you're going to run your truck. So it's more than... It's more than just buying a pair of shocks from someone. It's someone who's who's deep into it and cool to work with. So it was a fun experience. Uh, they're not inexpensive shocks, but I expect that they'll be a good fit for this type of truck. Case you're after something similar. And we'll talk about the build-off stuff a little bit more. Uh, David, who is joining, is in the build-off. Build along. Why? It's my thing. Why do I keep saying it wrong? Yeah, ridiculous. So we'll talk about that a little bit uh, when when David's here as well. But we're going to talk mainly about their event, and uh, hopefully some of the guys that are in the build along decide to come to the event because it would be sweet to see a bunch of people uh, join join the event. There is still spots available. I will try and get a link. I'll try and get because everything is a. I don't know. I just tried to click pin because everything is a competition with you. Let me tell you, uh, the build along has got a good group of guys, and I can tell you hands down at this point, everyone's posting all kinds of progress photos in the Discord already, uh, and I would say that the level that mine is built will be mid tier at best maybe below that because uh, some of these guys are putting they're doing such a good job the fitment on every tube is just perfect every uh, a lot of these guys are brazing as well which i have always been like no this is for tig welding but these guys are proving that to be wrong and they're doing it and it's turning out incredible so i am so stoked to see them all there um we probably get a good group together at Proline by the Fire. Frank, that's actually, yes, that's a uh, that's a great point. And hopefully that is true. Uh, Black Sheep, I was going to become YouTube. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Much appreciated. Uh, the member thing, I did turn member membership on on the channel. Uh, and I've been doing like nightly videos on like progress on the buggies. Uh, just a lot of like sitting there thinking, talking about it, you know, going through the little fine steps of where I'm at and the progress. Uh, so it's been fun. It, they're candid, you know, 15, 10, 15 minute long and just keep going each, each night. So uh, unless I'm doing like the scale news or things like that, something pops up in the way that's the case, but other than that, fine. Um, oh, you don't need to inflate it. <laughs> Brett's uh, uh, Brett has been posting on Instagram and I've been sharing his, I keep sharing the photos people post because it makes me look better. Like, yeah, these see how good this is. Like mine didn't look that good. <laughs> I'm taking, I can just flow that stuff and fill those gaps. Worked out well. <laughs> but Phoenix. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jason. Much appreciated. Uh, <laughs> much, much, much appreciated. I'm looking forward to it. And it's, uh, it's been fun. And so I TIG weld a lot better than brace. Uh, man, brazing, I feel like it flows so well, but you have to have those joints really, really just tight and because it doesn't want to fill much. It's you got to you got to do a good job getting everything fit into place. But anyway, uh, yeah, well, a few minutes left and then I'm going to ping David and Ty. I already touched base with them before. They know what's happening. We arranged this like, last night night before maybe yeah something like that <laughs> yes the joints have to be <laughs> that close <laughs> how many members strong right now um we were in the 60s as of last night when i put up last night's video 
So um, I'm guessing we're mid mid 60s right now. We'll find out. I'll do another video tonight um, before I put before I put this one up. So that's uh, I'm looking for. I'm gonna do. I've started on mine also. Started on this last night. I got the uh, stage one done, which is the lower tubes on my buggy. And I got the hood section done, which I did a little bit different. I made yet another fixture for last night. Um, so hopefully after this stream, I can get some more done. And, you know, I need to get some more of the uh, build along stuff put up on the on the discord though for guys to make more progress so i can't just get back to work on my stuff specifically i have to do that as well and dartagnan dart do i have to say it right since you're like i have to learn how to say dartagnan is that right <laughs> much appreciated so yes let's uh i'm gonna give them a link real quick and we are going to get them fired up into here now I've known both David and Ty for a long time. So there's gonna be uh and of course I just log on to send them this and I see that Ty has posted up a screenshot of me looking all like mm. what a dick. <laughs> Better put the headphones on. I sent them a link for them to join. I'm sure we'll see them shortly and I'll get them added in. We love the extra members videos. They're very just I'm just holding my cell phone, talking back and forth. It's pretty close. I has intimate knowledge. <laughs> some of you, some of you may remember the camper story. Ty was the third party in that particular story. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? I sh Hi, Nicole. She, I think she just threw something at the door. <laughs> uh, anyway, the I don't have my backpack in here to do mail call. I should do that. Um, this friends, for, Ty is also the reason why Toto, wait, Africa by Toto is on my phone and plays every time you plug your phone into <laughs> my, my Honda. It used to be that way. You plug it in and it was just A, so it was the first song that would play. Go grab it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I should. I should do that. So once they get in here, we'll get that all. We'll get that all sorted out. I was think. I was thinking more Lonely Island. Oh my God. I can't. We're going to talk a lot about buggies tonight for the first half, probably until Matt gets here. He said he would be here around around an hour in around seven my time. Um, something. So that's about an hour into the stream. So. We'll have 45 minutes or so of Ty and David, assuming that they get there. They've both seen the message at least. Team Garage Hacked RC Concepts, much appreciated. Ty Customs and KPEX Scale put out some of the cleanest buggies around. Yeah, uh, David's, it, I, David KPEX is his name, but you will find him under uh, KPEX Scale Creations, I think is what you'll see um, him most commonly under. He posts a lot on Instagram. You'll see a lot there. He, Facebook as well, but Instagram, you'll see his reels, the four-wheel steer buggies, um, some of the scale stuff like that. You'll you'll definitely uh, recognize some. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, hi. Thank you for joining. I'm sure Dave will be here shortly. Uh, I think that I can hear you, but why don't you say something just to double check? Mellow yellow. I expected nothing less. Much appreciated. What's going on, sir? Nothing. How you doing, man? Uh, even better that it's buggy season. So I think we need to make all seasons buggy season. I'm I'm in for that. I'm having so much fun building buggies. Yeah, I saw, man. Congratulations. That's yeah. that's <laughs> David yeah. is. I'm going to add him in there as well now. Okay. Thanks. Perfect. What's up, Davey? What's up? I don't have headphones. <laughs> I think you'll be okay still. So, um, 
the uh so anyway the guys that we have here on screen ties in the center you might have turned your volume down a little bit david on that one okay. yeah just Are we a good now bit. i think so um okay. ties in the center there david's on the right of your screen uh Ty Customs, Ty Creation. What is it? Ty's Custom Creations. I see. I, I had all the words. I just didn't know the order. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Ty got into building buggies, uh, like not for the first time, but as something you could buy here recently. Because you've been building buggies for the early 2000s? Yeah, a really long time. I yeah. started, fabricated my first buggy in like 07. I Oh, seven, I think. Yeah. So, maybe. There's some old school buggies that are out there that Ty has built that you guys would probably recognize. The Raisin was one that was uh, one of your first like production, quote unquote. You made like, how many you make? Four or five? Five, six, I think. Yeah. Hey, there's one right there. As the original one, I think. Really? I can't keep so, it. So. That goes. Okay. <laughs> goes way back had a rough life so yeah, not... twin in it now hey i like it some yeah. updates I, I put like a thousand miles on that buggy i did for like 10 years or something stupid like all ever so she's de she's definitely road hard and put away wet <laughs> <laughs> so uh first of all thank you to uh gunner satisfied jerky you can save 10% on uh, Satisfied Jerky with hashtag unexpected threesome. <laughs> you have to use the hashtag as part of that code. Save 10% on Satisfied Jerky. You can also use hashtag Cowboy10 to save 10% more on, a satis on the Cowboy Jerky specifically. But Did I hear threesome? Three <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So big, the big story, of course, the reason while I – enjoy talking to you both the event is what i want to hit on first so it big you know it's in june in morrison colorado yes now tickets are available currently right or how is that what is the current status of how to get signed up david go ahead. do you want me to take this tire do you want yeah. me Okay, so it's an application process. You got to apply to drive. So what you do, it's not like super crazy. All we're looking for is pictures confirming what your truck is. Because we don't want you to travel all the way across the country and you show up and you not have a truck that's in spec or whatnot. We're looking for metal tube buggies. You can do plastic but you're not going to do that good. If you're, if you're trying to be competitive, you're not going to do that good. Uh, you show up with a plastic cage truck. You're, you're just hanging out, but right. it, I'm not Which trying fine. to you come to hang out. If you, out. you don't have a metal cage. I mean, I'm just saying if that's, we're looking for this kind of buggy metal, heavy, seven pounds, a full driver dude in there. No skeletons, no sponges, no nothing. I want sponges size dudes. Um, sponges. Yeah. Dudes make drivers out of sponges. I don't know. It's weird. Um, you'll get extra points for rear mounted motors. Um, uh, what else? Four yeah, wheels. Like 15 bonus points, right? We got, you can get yes. three sides of a motor. You get an extra, uh, five bonus for the day. You fully encase a 540 motor. You get an extra 10. And then if your motor is mounted behind the B pillar, behind the upper links in the rear end, you get an extra five as well. We have 15 bonus points that you could possibly have total for the way the rules are. We just wanted to keep things pretty simple and still give builders the option. And we want to really encourage rear motor moon buggies because that's the cool looking stuff. Yes, agreed. And so this, would, this would be a fully pointed motor because it's fully encased on the Shane Zerba buggy. So... It's it's a fully encased motor. There's a fusion stuffed in there. Nice, um, oh. and yeah, I think you know, kind of the the cool things to hit. Like the rules are not crazy. Like they're talking about yeah. metal chassis are like what's because that's the most scale part. It's yeah. not sorka crazy on like 
limitations of this and that it's it's very open as far as that they just want to make sure you've got some some things that are realistic and reasonable um and you know kind of fit into the area the rules are pretty simple like it's if you've got a metal buggy you're probably going to be able to fit into somewhere very reasonably yeah main thing is just in it uh having a full-size driver uh, obviously a seat for him to sit in a driver's steering wheel you don't need a, a a dash or anything like that with gauges or anything i mean that's cool you can do that they have them but you know just some some kind of bar holding the steering wheel uh i don't want to see we don't want to see any electronics or anything like that you'll have to cover up your battery uh we're not going to be super sticklers if there's like a balance plug stick you know poking out or something right. crazy like that servos uh, you can see yeah servos you can see i mean right, right here there's one right there. I uh, can't really do too much about that, but you know, just we're trying to mimic real life. We rock buggies. Yes. That's, and that's it. To that's total. It. The, and, uh, um, yeah, there is a, a, a minimum weight requirement. Yes. And, that was the other, the other cool thing. It's a seven pound minimum weight. So making yeah. like these crazy minimal hype, you know, like, you could technically try and make the cage as, as crazy nimble, like light and minimal as possible and put your weight, but still having seven pounds as a minimum just allows you to be like, build something cool and not have to crazy worry about like not being competitive. Yeah. That yeah. was super yeah. cool. I really liked that. Yeah. Part of it. Do the silly things that you normally wouldn't do in a comp, a comp rig. And because you have to, you need right. a little ounce. Yep. Yep. Yep, exactly. And, and, uh, it, you know, the bent links and all that stuff, we're, we're trying to not kill performance, but we're trying to replicate like, realistic performance, I guess you would say, you know, um, right. I talked to, um, what's it, uh, Dave Wong, the guy, Club 42, oh, yeah. great. he has, uh, about 600 pounds, I think. Per, if, per if, tire per, I think it's per, usually about 300 pounds of lead shot per front tire. In yeah, the hole. yeah, he's running water, but yeah, uh, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're just trying to mimic that, man. That's that's it. Uh, class zero buggy. yeah, it's the class zero. I don't know if you know anything about that, but right. it's just really highly realistic. I like to mix in, you know, I like the other part, uh, uh, licensed tires only. Yes. So, it, just it, here too. We don't have to have a long list that says do this, do that. Just scale license, easy. Keep yeah. it out and keep everybody on a level playing field too. Because we also said no tire modification unless it's a cut and shut. In two, yeah. two. We're, we're gonna keep things simple and easy. The uber competitive guys are really the only ones who are kind of in an uproar about it. And <laughs> yeah, the, the minimum weight. I know definitely had some people be like, well, that's. Why do I have to add weight if I can get it down? Like, well, because it makes everyone else just be able to build what they want. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I know I, I weighed I weighed this as it sits currently, um, and right now it's four point nine five pounds. So I don't have uh, any brass on the front axle. I don't have any weight in the wheels. I don't have either of my steering servos in. Um, my transmission isn't totally complete yet. Uh, no driver figure, interior, body panels, things like that. So, like, I was able to just build this and have fun. And I think that I'll still be able to – I'll get pretty comfortable to where the weight's going to be before I have to, like, look at even thinking about adding some for no reason. Yeah. How heavy is that chassis, Josh? Um, no, I had no idea. I didn't weigh it before I <laughs> – the good news is, is that I'll be able to ask about 60 other people what theirs weigh. <laughs> and then get some sort of average. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. So it's, uh, you, you know, it, it's, it, I think it'll be, it'll be great. And I'm just, I'm so stoked. I love buggies. Yeah. Just, I always have. I mean, we, we do too. That's why it all came about is we, David and I have been playing on this ultra scale. Like we put six inch figures and everything build as far as other scale rigs so that was like really easy to just stay on that continuum of building to this crazy scale and trying to introduce new people to it and there's there's a couple of other really cool things um you can run four wheel steer or dig or both sorry you can run any of them because it real size does and but uh, 
there's also there's three different classes and uh hopefully you guys have an example of each class so first off is pro mod which the rules of pro mod are straight axle front 1.9 tires straight axle all the way around and what it, it's there's there's some rules with body and frame stuff there what do you can you when do you guys go through that ty chassis <laughs> no. rail uh I gotta look at the rules. <laughs> We've only had so many events. So basically, a pro mod is you're modified. Yeah, it's Stop. pretty much yeah. a modified factory vehicle. I mean, you, you'll have you'll have body panels, a hood, um, uh, side panels, um, usually two seats. Um, yeah, when you think pro mod, you're thinking yeah. like F toy. Uh, uh, you'll you're allowed to have front or rear dig. Obviously, no rear steer. Um, straight axles only. Full size driver. Yeah, uh, this I I we came up with promo literally around more or less this truck. Um, right. There's there's a couple different iterations going around of pro mods and stuff, but this is usually what we're looking for. Right. Now I picked up a Type Pro Custom MJ43 buggy or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Now I I currently have this on portals, so this would not apply. But if this had straight axles, two seat Perfect. buggy like this with Two wheel steer only. This yep. would drop right into that class all day long, right? And it's a it's you know a pre made chassis you can just buy and run. Um, yeah, that thing's thick, dude. Now you can also have a ladder frame chassis like a VS four hundred and ten or an SCX yep. uh, two things like that that has a cage welded onto it that has uh, on actually that's what this this is a four hundred and ten pro yeah, with four hundred and ten yeah. with welded a welded on cage. Um, and then the body needs to be attached to the cage work. Is that correct? Yes. 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 So you can't just throw a body on top of something and say, hey, I got some hoops welded in here. So it, it is still a, it's still a builder's class, but you can, you can buy chassis that would fit into any of the classes for the event if you didn't want to build something or something like that on your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A lot of guys are running the speedies, the UC fabs, and uh, uh, the TI uh, pros. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I'll be honest with you. I was a little worried about some of them speedy chassis and, and stuff in a full size uh, driver in there, but I've seen some really, really, really sweet um, um, creativity and 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 uh, really yeah. sweet interiors on some of them rigs. Some of those really guys are doing great. I, the Lux fab has got that cool. tiny little transmission that makes. For a lot of room inside of those interiors, um, yep, definitely that worth true. definitely worth taking a look at those. Um, the uh, and then from there, th there's all kinds of examples you guys go into on the pro mod stuff. But some cool options. Pro mod is kind of like a class one, but there is not that. There's no the tire restrictions in pro mod are what one point nine, one point nine. So if guys want to run those super swampers that are what five point four, five, five yeah, they can. They want to run the trap at 4.9. They can. The, the restriction is a, a license modified 1.9 scale tire. Right. So it keeps it wide open. You can run basically anything that you want. It's still a 1.9 in there. Yeah. Um, from it, there. Rear motor. Um, what's that? No rear motor in Pro Mod. That's we're trying to create discrepancies between the the, the categories. So. Right. Yeah. Um, being a factory vehicle and stuff. Yep. Sure. Yep. Uh, from there, the next class up would be 1.9 unlimited. Right. Yep. And that would be like what I'm building for here. So, yes. Yep. And like, so, Ty, yours there. Let's look at that one. Uh, that's just like this one. It's four wheel steer, uh, portals. You got F10 portals on that. Yep. Um, and dig, I assume you're running as well. Yep. I have dig, overdrive. So, um, just, uh, you know, pretty open ended buggy. Full, he's got his figure in there uh yeah beyond that it, it's not not all that crazy uh rule pdf somewhere yes that is in the the group is called we rc rock i um, i put the pdf down but the, it is in the pinned in the featured section right now create a new yeah. PDF here once we're we, we're making like slight little tweaks here and there nothing that's detrimental just to make things make sense so yeah we're still young yeah <laughs> we're new here 
<laughs> so, so the question we all want to know the answer to what dolls is Josh going to run? <laughs> Hilarious, but <laughs> but I have the answer somewhere right here. I heard somebody at your work might have started like leaving things like. Uh, yeah, Dan thought he's funny. <laughs> Dan always thinks he's funny, though. I don't know where it went. Um, oh, wait, is this it? Yes, this is it. I have a plan, you see. It's a doll in a box. You know, when you see a plan, I get scared. Exactly. I. I have a jumpsuit here, you see, from Scale Metal Supplies. Um. <laughs> and I am going to design my interior. Um. And then I'm going to design the shape my figure needs to be in. And I'm going to 3D print that structure, wrap it in that, put a head, hands on it. It's going to look realistic, but it's going to go exactly where I need it. Perfectly. That way I don't have to, like, Get the freaking Arctic GI Joe Kung Fu grip on. The, I'm gonna make my own figure. That I made it even weirder than playing with dolls. I'm gonna make a doll. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make my dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm gonna position him however I want. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm gonna put his head. I'm gonna put his neck on a spring. Just no bobble head. <laughs> That'd be sweet. <laughs> Is that some Star Wars thing? What is that? Indiana Jones thing. Thank you very much. It same is thing. The fertility idol from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now then the final class is 2.2 Unlimited. David, do you have one of yours there? Yeah. This would be I, a lot of my trucks have turned in. That's why I'm doing the 1.9 Unlimited. Uh, like yours, because I needed one, so I figured that'd probably be the best bet. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in the process. I'm sorry, I don't know if you can hear my printer. It's a little it's bit, but it's not bad. The, the fix, S2 fixture or something. I don't know. Anyway, it took almost a whole day, and it's almost done, so I'm pretty excited. Anyway, yes, uh, two, 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 two. Tom, Jeez. my my friend helper, he's uh he's been an integral uh, part in helping get this done. Uh, this is his truck. You'll see his truck on some of the reels. Um, but yes, two two trip rig. Ah! Oh. Yeah. So now that one there is that uh, you do you have the you have the scale hydraulic steering on the front of that. Yes, sir. That's something cool to show people. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just it was a snowy Saturday yeah. morning, and I just got. Uh, I was like, why not? I went yeah. down to Ace and found some, uh, found a bushing, and then uh, brazed it uh, to some other washers, and found a rod that went into it, and yeah, the scale hydro style steering. So that that's always the fun part too. So there's a bunch of scale aspects into it. That that's one of the biggest things about this. It's building, getting back. We're, we're kind of going going back to uh, 2010. Well, further back, years, you know. You know? Oh. <laughs> when, when 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 you had to build. You know? Yeah, you know, I when, mean, when, when, remember um, it was it was even further back than that. 2010, we were starting to be able to buy things. You yeah, know? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like you'd show up to a comp, or, yeah. or well, at least when I got into it, you would see this would be a class three truck. Sure. You know yeah. Yeah, the uh, yeah, absolutely. The you know how different things. I ran a. Do you guys remember the Gopher chassis? Yeah, <laughs> that was my. That was, that like was my chassis, right? Yeah, it was my comp truck back in like two thousand seven, two thousand eight, and it ran Wheelie King axles. <laughs> <laughs> it was before the AX ten came out, yep. but yeah, I mean, super minimal. Kind of, but it was tube truck. I loved tube trucks. That was what I always wanted to run. And then, of course, we got into competition. We we all traveled all over the country competing, and you couldn't run that and be competitive, you know, after two thousand eight or so. Well, so. you remember we did Cedar City Nationals. What was that? Twenty twelve. 
there was a lot of buggies there. And I feel like that was one of the last times we really saw buggies in competition. Yeah. And that was Grant, when we did that, that was scale nationals. Yeah. So uh, scale nationals, you know, we, we all kind of transitioned from comp crawling when we used to be able to run a buggy in comp crawling, like robot crawling, as we've called it a lot on here, like it changed. Like we used to run this type of stuff in that you would see people. I remember going to Moab in 2008 and there were people running moon buggies like that. It was their comp truck. Yeah. And then that kind of went away and it got super competitive. And then we started being able to run these in scale competition. But now you can't do that either because everyone you're chasing weight. You're chasing everything. Mm. So, yeah, the bastard juniors. Yeah, the. The bastard was the one before that. It was a super truck, and it was a, a you know, cl- with a, a. You can't even equate it to class three, really, because those things were ridiculous. But it was kind of like it. The, uh, so yes, yeah, getting able to to be able to run these again was super cool. And the the name for some people may have not have an idea, but we RC Rock comes from the. A derivative of the full size competition, we rock RC or not. Sorry, no RC, <laughs> just we rock. <laughs> uh, yep. So, and that's where you see the the real ones. So it was cool to see you guys start that and and bring it into there. Yep. Now, a little bit more about the event. Uh, you know, I all I know is that it's happening, and I'm excited to go. That's about all I know. Okay. That's plenty. You'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Well, we're we're starting the event with a concourse because we're putting so much um so much on scale with these. We want to make it known. We want to bring concourse back to these national events. You know, I it, it would be roll and it would last a long time, but like it's it's a big part of why we're doing it. We really want to see beautiful looking buggies, different mm-hmm. things whatever and it's going to be awarded we have raffle prizes just for the concourse guys um more so than the competition like for us the competition is a secondary it really is we want it it, we want this to be a a big gathering of where we'd like to see the go or at least this aspect of it anyway um and then the other thing is course formatting we're we've been talking and refining things for a little while now and we're we're really gonna go the way that we rock is with the course formatting and david's got a really good grasp on that david if you want to hit on it yeah um well we're gonna have some videos follow here uh whenever we get some decent weather and all that stuff but we we got something in the works but it's more or less going to be just like real we rock uh there will be a start and a finish gate mm-hmm. um there will be one through five progress gates and there will be two bonus gates um you will have six minutes to run you will have um uh 50 point point out um so you will start the course from the start line um most of them will go through something like this or you know cones or whatever you'll start you'll go through the start line your time starts you head through gate one you do them all in order and then you can hit bonuses wherever you want anytime until you pass the finish line. So you, you know, go through five, you can hit the bonus. You can hit the right. other bonus. Run through the last gate. Yep. And then you, you, then you got to cross the finish line. So, so the, the start line and the finish line will be the same. Uh, the court, the court, the event host will designate if it, if the course does have a, actual finish gate you know there would be a start gate and a finish gate separate or whatnot but some courses you'll you'll do a big loop and then come back around and have to go through the start gate to to stop time sure so So the the difference between that and a normal course if that doesn't sound that different to some of you guys is that uh, on a normal comp course we run like gate 10 if once you or you know however many gates you have once you progress that that's when your time ends but we rock Usually you have your final gate and then you have to go to the finish line, yep. which is not a, a typical gate. So that would be the difference for how they're explaining it to like what you may or may not be familiar with in, in regular comp crawling of some sort. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Start um, and all they do is start and finish. You don't get points for going through them. They're yep. 
are typically going to made be made fairly easy while gates one through five the the plan here is to make gates one through five really hard but to still give you time to do the bonuses sure bonuses are 10 points oh nice um now the other thing about this that i i do like is that there's no winches nope. <laughs> yeah. I, not wrong. so in we rock in full size we rock you there is you can winch but if you do winch in full size we rock you have a 40 point point out if you touch your winch it's 30 points so like it yeah it's it, a big they do, they do the hand winching or you know the dude on the rope or whatnot, spotter strap we're right. not gonna do we're yeah. not gonna do hand to god <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point spotter strapping they they do allow again so uh that's that's a good point no none of that um but so I do like that because obviously winching an RC when you're not sitting in it, you can, you're Spider Man. You can do anything with an RC car and a winch, especially yeah. with the, the power of our winches. So I, I'm happy to to n see no winches. Yeah, you know, like um, slows down the flow of the course too, and then you get into this thing where you everybody has to winch a certain gate, and just want to avoid it altogether. Just bring it back to the old USRC. Yeah. You know, drive the yeah. gates absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, and if you can't say if you can't make the gate or the climb, um, we'll try our darndest in, in gate construction or whatnot to where you can take a gate just to you know blow it and go and get progress, right? So that's and that's then, go ahead for yeah, and for people who, who don't know, usually a good course designer, you know, progressing a gate, you get through the two cones cleanly without touching it go through in the in the correct direction taking a gate is like a, normally a good course direct a designer will put a gate in a way that you could get to it and just drive like straddle right over top of it and then you get a penalty but you get to keep going and that's something that is not always done by course designers but a good course designer if they put that in there it keeps everything going the way you don't just get stuck at gate one and then you're you're out exactly. yeah you yeah don't I, want it to be frustrating really, course designers and out with design like you know you can be a little more lax about how you're designing things you don't have to make gates because you can always winch it so it definitely puts more pressure on course designers but i mean for nationals we're going to rerun all the courses we're going to make sure everything is challenging but yeah. still doable and there'll be outs for everything so we want to see we want to see people using the time to finish courses not just struggling on one gate yeah absolutely yeah. no that i, I, I do like People taking bonus more people taking bonuses since they'll have the time and it'll be you know it'll be worth it with the 10 points yep, yep. no that'll be that'll be awesome i'm looking forward to that matt has returned home and oh, is getting set up look at look at as a spin over there who are these two scumbags oh god <laughs> it's that guy oh, hello <laughs> welcome to scale bonus guild thanks man for watching <laughs> so, how are you guys uh, welcome to the show good how are you buddy man i'm so good i'm i'm so much better now yes and uh, you know we're discussing your uh, buggy specifically matt i can't wait to have my buggy back yep back <laughs> what do you have for a pro mod matt don't worry about it <laughs> worry about <laughs> Yeah, right, that's all you get to it, see. It's started at least. So <laughs> it's it's partially assembled. So um it will be at one point in the future an F toy. Yes, I do. It's a it's yeah. probably I went old school with yeah, uh, absolutely with that one. I went old school like me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh this uh, as well. You'll... What'd you say, Ty? You're cutting out a field of of f toys out there we're, we're yeah. gonna build i'm looking forward to it it's gonna Absolutely. be so great to see you all too i i love crawlerado oh i know that's gonna be one of the best parts of it the best be part and uh, people don't often mention this the best part of colorado is all the rain <laughs> oh. we we did uh we did spend some time in the rain yeah, we were there, Matt. <laughs> uh, it was it was wet. <laughs> it, was it was wet. It was wet. <laughs> Thank you, Buck Dandy. Uh, Buck oh. Dandy wants to know: Is that famous cart driver a with a yes, five point five? This is a uh, 
multi-panel hat. Multi. Um, All hats are multi-panel, but this is more multi-panels though. <laughs> this is as panel-y as it gets. Enough talk about my hat though. Uh, <laughs> let's just talk about how sick, because I, you know, the youths say stuff like that. How bussin' um, <laughs> David's uh, Instagram feed is, because it just gets me so hyped. Yes. I try homie. for how for how radical things are going to be. I'm so excited, man. Like you got you you're making it look so much better than I'm ever going to drive. Matt spends like so much time dreaming. around 12 year olds at the go-kart track now. <laughs> <laughs> there were I you know what? The youngest competitor was 15. Thank you very much. Oh wow. Wow. Most of most of them the I'd say the average age was about 38. I'm, well, I'm looking forward to hearing your results, but towards the end. Uh, yes. Can we get the Instagram? It is uh, Paypec Create. Oh, it's, it's so easy. Oh, Paypec Scale Creations. Paypec Scale Creations. Paypec is C-A-P-E-K. C-A-P-E-K, yeah. C-A-P-E-K. yeah. So. Scale Creations. It's all one one thing. You'll find it. And he does. He's doing well on there. fantastic. Here, what I'll do is I'll share one of your stories to my stories. Yes, I'll put one then... on the real. I'll put one on my stories here afterwards as well. Um, so, and uh, I'll, Ty I'll throw you a share. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get Ty's going too. Ty has some really good stuff. Yeah, of course he does. Sorry, I don't mean to like single you out. No, Ty just isn't doing a good job at posting regularly. Ty's not. He's not as active. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Agree. So, yep. The uh, so jump over there on that. We I will also and I will have Matt also uh, put links to the event page in the Instagram stories as well uh, here after the stream, just to make sure that uh, you guys can find that info, find links. It's on Facebook yep. right now. Um, yep. Find some links to it. Jump over there if you guys can make it in June, or you just want to come hang out. Uh, Matt and I are also going to find a way to uh, make some sort of K one get together. So yes, a Actually, meetup, go, go uh, kart. live stream meetup, if you will, because that's we're that type of YouTubers now. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, we are totally those guys. If we add up all of our subscribers <laughs> together, which are mainly the same people, we can almost sounds... have a full race. What's up, Andy? So. Uh, again, every I appreciate both of you guys for jumping on here with us. Uh, we will follow up as we get closer. And these buggies, it, when Matt and I are both just like, we're not done. Leave us alone. <laughs> it is finished. Mad okay. scramble to the end. Uh, I'll have you guys both back on. And okay. uh, we'll see how this goes. So We, we think we we'll probably have to extend the timeline, but we we'll have to close, like, I don't know, like the T-shirt sales and stuff and, you know. Just the amount of prep. We try to give ourselves a month, but we can tell everybody's like, I get messages all the time. People are like scrambling. I'm not going to make the timeline. That's, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, come join us in Colorado in June. It's the beginning of June, but come hang out. Come comp with us. Looking forward to it. It'll be fun. So, uh, thanks again, both Ty and David. Cool. Thank thanks, you guys. guys. Thanks for having yeah, us. I'm glad back. I was able to pop on and see you both. I'll see you in two weeks. Awesome. Months. Good seeing you. Later, gents. Take it easy. Get me back over on my side. There, there we go. fixed. What's going on? Live stream takeover. Why are my lips so red again? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on with my lips? <laughs> oh, I how see. you doing, sir? You did not respond oh, to my message today, so I made up a title for you. Yes, I did, idiot. Oh, did you? And yeah, I said, look up, stupid. And it said right above there what my title was for today. And you grossly ignored it. Weird. Oh, there you go. Just checking it now, huh? Yeah. Title for tonight. It's lights out and away we go. <laughs> and then you're like, title question mark? And I go, read up, <laughs> stupid. And then you make up another one. And I never looked at it again. <laughs> Matt's a spin. That's fine. I'll take it. Although, I'm not going to, no spoilers. Don't, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. No spoilers. So, yes, uh, sounds like such a cool event. Absolutely. I mean, especially uh, dude, if you have a soft spot for buggies. I have a soft spot for making things look real. Yes. And I, I feel like this competition really speaks to me 
in that kind of way in the kind of way that it's not uh you know you're not trying to pinch grams i mean <laughs> well, <laughs> depends on what time of day <laughs> <laughs> you can just build to make it cool and then you still may have to add some weight, whatever. But yeah, exactly. I love the weight limit is like, what is it? 11 pounds? Seven, seven pounds. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. That's still quite a bit. We're going to have to reduce some weight. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm so excited that I copied and pasted all the rules out of Facebook and then into a document so I can then print, print it out. It. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is worthy of some paper. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just named the show look up stupid, but I didn't check it at all. So like, yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Matt, Set up your own damn on, screen. Matt puts on carding gloves, applies lipstick, then puts on helmet. <laughs> my lips are so, I, you know what it is? They're so chapped. My lips are so chapped. There's a heavy breathing today. <laughs> I gotta fix this thing, man. It's driving me crazy. Oh my God. So, yes, that, that part of it. I know if people who don't love buggies, I'm sure that we are annoying and uh, just don't get because, but you know what though? Let's be honest. Uh huh. That's better. First of all. Yes, it is. And also this is like going back to the roots of what rock crawling is all about. Yeah. It Am is. I right? Yep. I love, you know, that was, there's so many of them were like that, and it just makes yep. such a good. <laughs> Does Robert Downey Jr. have a fun of the stash go with those glasses? It's pretty much Robert Downey Jr. We are. I am short... Iron Man. I... <laughs> um. Yes. Uh, how was your week? I missed out on the beginning of this show. Um. We we really talked about buggies for the most part. Um. And my That's week is great. pretty much only buggies as well. Since I've been mm. building yours and working, the build online. along mm -hmm. is going great. I'm watching all kinds of people do the build along. So, so well. It's amazing. I've Gosh, popped in and out of the Discord uh, because yeah, mine's done. So <laughs> I don't really like. What am I gonna do on there? So, <laughs> well, how does this go to? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what printer settings do you guys use? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, thanks again for doing that for me. I appreciate yeah. it. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> Sucker to be will, doing it again. I will you, say you got you got something for it though. It's not like you got this like hey, you had to do it for me for free. I literally wouldn't do it for someone for five times that amount <laughs> normally. <laughs> but thank you still. Because that's, <laughs> that's another fun project to talk about here soon. Yes, but, exactly. And no matter what, I'm excited for that. Uh, but yep. I will say that I'm doing a like substantially cleaner job on my own, just so that I can have a reason that I'm not so mad that I have to give you this one. Because I'm getting a lot of comments here about I'm very excited. Fix your skid. So what's going on with the skid? Okay, so here's some, the thing for some reason it does appear that the transmission has got a couple of degrees of slant to it oh dear Was okay that not on and then, then it just come on weird you do look brighter there's a light turned on um anyway uh <laughs> anyway for some reason I need to just take a look at the skid plate and the design. The design is proper, so I feel like it's something else. Um, and I'm going to investigate that. It's not not critical. I wouldn't. I yeah. wouldn't. Worry I mean, you know, don't worry your pretty little head about it. When we um, get there and they go, that's not a flat skid. I'm going to throw it at you. The skid is flat. It's the transmission that is not. Interesting. <laughs> and that's important because of the top shaft situation. Ah, uh, yes. We have. So, that is important. 
anyway, we'll we'll get there. Is this we'll gonna probably... be like that time that I borrowed your um your bomber to do the five k and it died within yeah two hundred? I, I lend, you, lend you a vehicle and you break it immediately. <laughs> well, it shouldn't have been so fragile. This this thing <laughs> fell apart. This is junk. I'm like, Thanks well, a lot. That's what you get for running. So <laughs> I saved you. You that's are true. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, um, I appreciate your help. I'm gonna go get my backpack so we can do a little bit of mail call. Yeah, I've got a couple of things here. Um uh, but um yeah, I will wait for you to come back. Oh man, I'm so happy to be back. Um it was a good night for me. It was a good start to the new season. Um, I also have some mail call, so I'm mildly excited to share. La la la. <laughs> I broke <bloked> it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I missed being here. This is going to be weird for the next five weeks. Yeah, I'm going to keep lining up guests so I don't have to just all right. try and carry it all. Keep winding them up and I'll keep avoiding them. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, shh. I had something for you, actually. Wow. Mr. Brazen Threat. Hello. Is this actually Brett or is it Wes tonight? That... Or is it Bress? Um, I. <laughs> it's wet. I got a one of those benders from Etsy uh, was sent to me by Ben. Maybe that Ben. Ben, ben, ben is, it this, is it this Ben? No. Nope. Ben Osborne. Uh, the is it him? Make yourself known. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, and he said he sent me a message today. He goes, "Hey, you sending anything to Matt anytime soon?" I'm like, "Yeah, like tomorrow," <laughs> which would have been Monday. Um, and he's like, "Ah, oh, shoot. Well." I'll send send him your bender, and I'll send you a new one. Um, I need a do I need another bender? You know what? Sometimes you learn from one versus the other and find out what you mm, like. Maybe you'll like uh, this one better. It does have a dial right, gauge. Well, thank which you. May, may play into yours. Anyway, it arrived today. So, nope. thank you very and much. You're going to end up with that. Um, and then I also thank got you, some uh, <laughs> some stickers from uh, Ream Dog Fly Factory. Which my favorite one, uh, some surly bikes here, uh, is is this. It's the I came in late, <laughs> but made for it, made up for it by uh, the really. I <laughs> could have this tattooed somewhere. Well, like on your forehead. Yeah, and it would no one. But most people see why. it because you would already you'd be late, and they would have missed you <laughs> by then. <laughs> so uh, there's that. There's also some other. Let's see. Cold Law deserves a second chance. I feel like that. <laughs> I like that. I don't know why, but I like that a lot. I know. Um, I don't <laughs> always be just <laughs> These are, you know what? These are right up there with my bumper stickers. <laughs> well, I have to steal like, that there's definitely, one. there's definitely a joke there. Don't necessarily <laughs> know what it is. <laughs> like your bumper stickers, and I was like, "What's this mean?" Like, oh, they said it once on a live stream, uh, fourteen episodes ago, and it was barely funny then. But <laughs> yeah, those two idiots laughed too long. So, and I was and we're getting more of five panel patents. Just who, who's Edward? Yeah. Who's Edward Gein? He was, I believe, he was a serial killer. Maybe. Hmm. Coleslaw uh, is great. I I, I agree. I, I was bringing that up for that exact reason because uh, I like coleslaw in all of its forms: creamy, vin oily, -based, whatever. Creamy, like doesn't matter. Heavy on the cabbage, light on the cabbage. <laughs> Small hands. Throw little potatoes in there. Smells you like know, cabbage. whatever. I will tell you what. Coleslaw has oh, a, a much band. That's right. much better chance of being good. Compared to potato salad, potato salad can be really can be a hit or miss. Rate. Yeah, yep. exactly. Yeah, about a forty percent hit rate. Mm. Ah, Doctor President Legend Buck Dandy, thank you. Buck Dandy is making coleslaw great again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's about damn time. KFC is the best. KFC is very uh, good. It hits a nostalgia slaps. type. Yeah, exactly. I it's, like it though. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the worst coleslaw is fancy dine, fancy taco place or fancy like that's the worst coleslaw. When it's like a pickled red cabbage. Yeah. It's just like, I'm not, what are you, what are you, you doing? Know, let's slow down. It's like, it's like macaroni and cheese. Know. The trashier, the better. Well, I don't know where this guy is getting his macaroni salad, but, uh, I can assure you, it's not always soggy. Nicole likes to broil it after it's cooked, so it gets that cr that crispy on top. That's macaroni and cheese. That's macaroni salad. This guy's talking about. Isn't it still really a salad, though? I mean, well, one is mayonnaise based, so no. One yeah. is salad. The other is not salad. I'm just saying. I think it could still be a salad. <laughs> Nothing like slaw on a pork barbecue sandwich. <laughs> what's the uh what's the one i like from casey joe's the uh something mayor it's the mayor something someone will know it meh, meh, meh. definitely agreed no raisins is that a thing martin 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 city oh, the z man, the z -man. nicole the z man you. she would know that is exactly <laughs> is that a sandwich yeah it's a place to get z a sandwich z -man. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you glad I said Z-Man and not Z-Man? Yes, I am. <laughs> what an odd anyway. name for a sandwich. If you're ever in Kansas City, you have to stop at Casey Joe's. That would be a cold day before I recognize Missouri. So, yes. Um, let's see. Buggies are progressing. Yours is done. I could probably get your Thanks, man. to you soon. Um, well, you're going to have to send some other stuff along with it. Oh, really? Well, I'll, I'll put an order together. Okay, you do that. So, um, and then mine's, I'm starting to crank away. Made some progress last night. The Discord again, though, I can't say enough. Those guys are killing it. Killing it. They're killing it. You guys are doing oh, so such a better job than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, they learned from the best. I'm, I'm going to start sending them shitty files. Like, like why doesn't That's this a great idea? Like, I'm like, you must have built it wrong. It fits perfectly in mine. <laughs> Just scale everything a little bit. Like it just uh, the interior doesn't fit. I'm like, yeah. All it needs to be is like three percent different. Like your tolerances are. Man, you should have paid more attention to those jigs. <laughs> here's my here's my uh, here's my affiliate link for Bamboo Labs Excellent Carbon. <laughs> it is. You don't need a bamboo, of course. Do this. You can use <laughs> any printer, but some it's of these guys faster. are just like I loaded up these parts and it's. 32 hours to print and these guys, other guys come home they're like oh, I was done in six and a half <laughs> uh, mail call right are we doing that here yeah. what, do you, what do you got I, I got like next to nothing I didn't Splat. do that okay what <laughs> it's the element Zool 2 Oh, did you not watch TV internet yesterday? Maybe not. Okay, Zool well, two. They just came out. Zool with the two. Zool. This is the Zool two electric boogaloo. They haven't even come out with an enduro two yet. Why, they should stop making a Zool two and make it. Don't worry about it. They did do an enduro two. That's the enduro okay. SE. Mm. That came out <laughs> last year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, big difference on this one. IFS 2. I like that too. Uh, That's it. it. Is it the... Uh, scratch and sniff body. Scratch and sniff body, yes. Uh, yeah. Let's... Uh, Jimmy, can you think... Uh, Nicole, we miss you in the lives. Come visit. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, Nicole, Nicole you should come on in. Come on in here. Come on in uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> Zoltan. <laughs> <laughs> IFS looks wrong on an FJ, but it's a cool chassis. Agreed. And that's basically what I say in the review, is that this body from the front forward looks great. Wrong uh, to have this underneath. The rest of that on the back, ugly as hell. Uh, maybe don't use it. Get something <laughs> else. Put something else on there. 
it's a great platform. Like it, it, to have the IFS and the gatekeeper uh, wheelbase with the uh, trailing arm suspension, it's a great setup. Good for making um, desert buggies, like yeah. uh, desert trucks and Baja things. Right. Yeah, that's I would pre runners. <laughs> pre runners. Uh Enduro is SE one point two. SE is Enduro one point two. <laughs> Go one point six. Yeah, they do need to fix their axles though. Those are bad. It's true. They're not the best in the whole those, world. Those gears are not good. Slender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've blown up yeah. those gears faster than TLT gears, and that's hard to that's do. That's hard to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, it's uh, nice. It's out now. Go get one. My grandma used to leave out ingredients and recipes she shares. So <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting because my mother in law oftentimes adds things that weren't in the ingredients. She's like, I made it better. <laughs> <laughs> did you like it's like yeah. it called for it called for for mayonnaise i used potato salad uh i was at work the other day surprisingly and we somehow got into a grilled cheese discussion and one of the okay. girls was like yeah you take and you rub mayonnaise on it oh than yeah mm -hmm. i've heard mayonnaise of that too. instead of butter what no yeah because well it's just as oily i'm Kinda telling you it's got to be craft cheese AF. singles, white bread, and butter. Kind I mean, butter is top. pushing it. May, uh, margarine would be fine, too. <laughs> I'm, we're in a margarine household here. Doesn't surprise me. No one's surprised. We all knew that. Uh, mayo will brown the bread better. Oh, yeah. hello, yeah. Thomas. Thank you very much. I just sent you an email. Good to see you. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about yeah, that? Let's talk about it. Yeah. Uh, you should talk let's about it. Let's talk about it right now. I am excited. Well, okay. So Thomas, <clears throat> he sent me the first one already. It's, it's a really? little bit smaller than I remember. Oh, do you son of a No. Uh, oh, he... <laughs> you son of a <laughs> No. Uh, I don't have anything yet, uh, but okay. he's ready to ship the first five next Tuesday. Oh. And if you don't know what we're talking about, Thomas is the one making the carbon fiber Suga bodies. So imagine this, but larger. Yes. And carbon fiber. Car oh, I'm. Look at that ass. Look at that <laughs> ass. I am it's so pumped. So very much not a pretty vehicle in any way. I know. Such and a weird why... dimension. Yeah, it really, really is. Uh, I was able to get one of, I don't know which yeah. one. Josh secured um, number one, I think, because I took myself and put myself at the bottom of the list. Uh, art art here, where's that one go? Uh, there, $500 body? No. No, no not it's correct. not, even though it should be. I, <laughs> Matt... Let me have okay, message. now listen. Don't talk about any of that because that's private information. No, I'm talking about it. I'm not telling numbers. I'm not telling numbers. But Matt gave me a number, and I said that is not enough. You should charge more. And I said this number, and he goes, "No, nope, I'm not no. trying to make any money. No, and I'm not. This it, is not a money making venture. This that, is paying Thomas for his work." Paying the designer for his work and paying for shipping and stickers. There might be a tiny little bit of money left over, but it's not going to be very much. The point of doing this was to do it and to get them out there and then to never do it again. Which is insanity, but I'm super <laughs> happy to have one. Uh, and thank you to Thomas Bielzik for yes. doing all of this work for what is way too little money. Agreed. It is he, way too little, and he's doing he an is, amazing job. He is the person who is charging way too little in the first place. And then Matt is compounding by still being Canadian. And 
you all i don't know how many there's going to be available i don't care because i got one and you can all i think but... the number is 31 and no thomas kidding. Uh, yeah yeah oh my god that's crazy yeah. that's gonna be thomas, so, so we have to add one because <laughs> there was somebody who was like i'm in i want on the list and then i didn't see that uh, so that's my that's on me that's my bad <laughs> that's on me <laughs> Um, uh, but uh, there's actually it's it's been interesting. I've only received payment from you and uh, Richard of the first five. I hey. don't know. I I added those people. I said at you time to pay up. So if I don't hear from those people, say D double Tuesday, it and send it to the next guy. <laughs> it's Wait, gonna be discuss? we'll rotate we'll rotate to the next people and those people will be pushed to the bottom and then so off the list. Like, yes, Thomas uh, is the man. Thomas 100%. is the man. So cool. Uh, I'm just saying. So exciting. It's pretty exciting. So yeah. excited for such an ugly body, but made of <laughs> carbon fiber. Yeah. And yeah. the great thing is we we already have uh, mounts for the SCX-10 Pro. Yep. And an interior if you would presumably I think want that. I, I'm going to put mine on a VS-410. And then if you want a VS-410... Um, I think uh, Quinton QFRCY, uh, Quinton Farsi, Quinton Farsi, he's going to do up a, a design for the VRD. So if you wanted to put it oh, on VRD, yeah. there you go. Yeah. So I'm going to put it on a VS410. I'm going to do an interior cage, welded, you know, designed up. Oh, line up a cage for it. Um, I just want it to be a like a full a runner scale truck run. Yeah, <laughs> you do a scale truck. <laughs> that's but, adorable you, speaking of doing things that's quote unquote adorable you get your little your little small scale guy there in front of you that <laughs> thing turned out so good thanks dude yeah i'm the, pretty pleased with how this turned out this is on the, the uh ascent 18 the simple and, fade <clears throat> oh yeah is what makes that paint job actually decent <laughs> <laughs> thanks i guess thank you um uh, obviously that's the inspiration yes obviously the the hot wheels inspiration hot wheels um you did it why can't i uh but yeah it turned out pretty good i put the windows in there and you know it uh i used actually i forgot i didn't show you this this is on tomorrow's what's on the bench but i used the actual Oh, the clipless uh, system that they clipless have. Clipless mount on the back and on the front. So it's got that little notch in there. Nice. And I bet yours yeah. will stay on there better because it's a hard body. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The uh, That one's not going anywhere. The stock one likes to kind of flex off. Flex off. A little bit. Like flex off. Steel, but... Apply directly to the forehead. Flex off. <laughs> um, the, so there's a couple of different ways of getting... The body if you just want to print a normal body but that's stupid why would you do that um you can buy the original file from cg trader and i can provide the link to that but it's going to have fenders on the front so it's going to not be good um if you want this model, you have to buy the file from CG Trader and then contact Josh, and then he will send you yeah. a modified file. Contact Matt. He has the no, modified file. I don't have I it. No, I don't want it. I don't Matt, want to do it. Matt will send it because I won't. Send it. I'm going to charge you again. You have to buy it from <laughs> CG Trader. <laughs> it's going to be cheap. It's going to be cheaper to get on the carbon fiber list if I'm honest. Someone's going to make money on this deal since it's not Matt or Thomas. I'm gonna... <laughs> no, Matt bought the body on CG Trader for Nationals last year. Uh, and yeah. I modified it by taking the fenders off, uh, shortening the grill, and cleaning up some of the things here and there to make it just a little bit smoother. Uh, yeah, more more doable. Yeah. So, um <laughs> <laughs> Shaped like a coffin about, about as appealing to me. You're not wrong. Like it's not it's not attractive at it's, all. It's ugly. Like, look at and this. It's a weird cool ass part. shape. Look at that. Yeah, it looks, look at the offset so thing on the roof. 
it's asymmetrical. The back has got a, it's like a, look at that. Terrible. It's, it's terrible. so weird. It's so that, weird. That's the best part. That's what's good about it. And it looks uh, like it's like, it's like the, it's like a modern, it's like, it, no, it's an old school interpretation of the power wagon. An older school, older German school. version of a, yeah. SUV. David Ferris, thank you. What are those windows made out of? Lol. Son of a bitch. Damn it. Yes. David Ferris is my hero. Thanks, David. <laughs> you piece of crap. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Damn it. <laughs> Things are going so well. Uh, now my video is going to be wrong tomorrow. Everyone's going to go, oh, this is like standing windows. There's the comment for tomorrow's video, gents. Mm. Everyone who is in the chat, just go blow up that comment section. Um, Those numbers are wrong. <laughs> Wait, I thought that you were not using Lexan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Volvos are from Sweden. Yeah, yeah whatever. Is same, same. What, you know, almost was the same, but... <laughs> 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 don't they don't say that to a Swedish person? <laughs> uh it's so ugly, it's beautiful. Well, that's probably true. That's it. Sometimes it's just that yeah. offensive that just like, see, see? Yeah. So, Thomas, you're keeping a couple of these for yourself, right? He's gonna keep them and sell them for five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I he's he said there's a couple that are you know not to his quality spec and i was like oh you can sell those as blems shot at moose jaw all right what else did i get um oh yeah this is great news that volvo is the pug of cars i don't even know i think it's insulting to pugs <laughs> it's so it's so ugly up that ass. <laughs> oh my god. It's it's so funny cuz right after Nationals, in fact, immediately after Nationals, Wyatt bought the body and yeah, mounts you didn't take and it interior home. from me. I didn't even take it home. Right. Brought the chassis home. That was it. I was like, Here so, you go. Thank you. <laughs> you don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for you anymore. Uh so from Brazen Scale, this is a Leafer, this is the C1 Pro Leafer. Yes. But in, in a, a weird tinge. It's steel, baby. Yes. Because I'm going to weld directly to this sucker. Because uh, we're building an F-toy on this. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to use these axles. Mostly because I don't know what transmission I'm using. But it's not going to be a forward-mounted one. It'll be maybe I'd like to get a VRD in there if I'm honest. VFD. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna need an offset axle. So not this front axle then, uh, which is good because I've got these F10T axles. That would be here. the one to use. Uh, and, and JEC has mounts for Leafs on those that I just ordered. Go. So I've seen. Uh, we'll be doing that. Fabco. Yeah, Twisted Fabco. Is, he's been ruining a bunch of stuff lately. Um, he sure so. has. Terrible person. Don't follow him. <laughs> You're gonna be really mad in a few weeks, I bet. <laughs> you, you'll be really upset with me, especially in a few weeks. God. Uh, but twisted Fabco, he's he's actually not too far from me here. He's in the Bay Area, which makes sense, of course. And he just keeps ruining stuff by putting leaf springs on it, making yes, leaf springs. He's adding more leaf springs to the world, which is the last thing this world needs. No, it's perfect. everything's already going to happen. He's making more leaf springs. This was a special thing, though. And Brett and Wes, thank you very much for doing this for me. I, I like the adjustability of the uh, those rear the leaf shackle mounts. Yeah, yeah, you can put them anywhere you want. The Change that wheelbase. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, every once in a while, those guys have some good ideas. <laughs> Every once in a while, they really don't screw it up. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm really super excited on this uh, project. I put those axles on just to mock it up for now. 
Yeah, Twisted Petco's recent build is the coolest thing. I know that that's not possible because I know it's got leaf springs. <laughs> but you can um, find him on Instagram yeah, he, if you're interested in finding some more information about, which I'm surprised he's found the internet since he's so obsessed with leaf springs. Oh, my God. He and I have uh, been chatting a lot back and forth. And um, facts and each other? Good stuff. <laughs> no, smoke signals. Um I see Matt is back to using the Royal We. Well, yes, I am from Scottsdale now. Can we call you uh Sir whatever or what is that? How's it go? Wait. Uh, Lord. I think Lord yeah, Matthew. well let's not go that far. I think I'm just a viceroy at this point. Um what is a F toy? My mind went dirty. <laughs> I didn't even think I'm for I'm, F toy stands for formula toy, which stands for formula Toyota. It is a spec style Toyota competition class where you were able to buy a chassis from a manufacturer that's built to an exact spec and you had to build it a very specific way using Toyota parts. And it was formula toy, like formula off-road formula, you know, not formula. It's mm -hmm. old AF. It is old AF. Um, uh, Jake Wright, Del Monte, one of the one of the most uh, accomplished crawling competition people. He came from the F toy world way back in the day. Um, mm -hmm. He's the only one I've actually known who has competed in F toy. As many people as I've known who've competed in full size, he's the only one I know who's been in F toy. Mm. So um, neat. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, super stoked on that. Look them up uh, on the internet. Marlon Crawler did a bunch of them. Going to be a lot of low-res photos. <laughs> yeah, they're like 480 <laughs> by 320. <laughs> You're going to need to zoom in. <laughs> they're not very... Actually, uh, I built I built one in the past, and so did uh, Richard. Pardon my noob. We both have them on the Scale Builders Guild forum, so check it. Search F-Toy there. And along with the chassis from Brazen, um, I got these nice disc brakes from uh, the Hibby Hibby Rotors. Hibby Rotors, yeah, Hibby made products. Hibby made, yeah. Um, yes, Josh Hibner. Oh, they're right there. Look at that. Rotors are from Josh Hibner. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're available Thank you. in many colors as well. Thank you, Josh. The, well, thank you, Josh, but thank the other Josh as well. <laughs> So yes, uh, very excited, very excited. The uh... <laughs> oh no, don't look at F toy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be that bad. Uh, just, the internet toy. would never allow that. <laughs> just definitely Formula don't do toy. On... That's the first thing that comes up, you nerds. Don't do it on Reddit. Um... <laughs> 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 no drum breaks. I mean, on an F toy, it should be. That's right. <laughs> yeah, actually, it should be. That's true. <laughs> hmm. But uh, I'm looking forward to looking forward to you tackling that particular project. Well, I've done it before. I should be able to do it again. But I am going to follow your lead uh, with what you did in the the build along and send cut send parts mm -hmm. to like build around stuff. Yes. That way, I, it's going to be way harder for me to f it up. Absolutely. I mean, I, I should be effing it up. It's an f toy, but yeah. There's something the other there's way. Something there. There's some some yeah. sort of livery or something that that will work. There. You can just call it effed up. Think yeah. Work. <laughs> Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for mail. Uh, well, I got a box of inner fenders but that's it for mail call yes and so uh yeah i did not have did not have much else um unless i'm probably... i bet you there's something really big that i'm completely forgetting i feel like i'm forgetting something as well oh i did almost i almost forgot ampro engineering sent me a big old passel of stuff what's it for I don't... it's for the black I tried, to look, body. I tried to look in the box i was like <laughs> The uh, Blackfoot body, so lots of nice resin printed goodies. Oh, yeah, for your CR12 build. 
Yeah. Um, I already stripped all the chrome off the uh, original grill. Nice. And took out the light buckets because he has light buckets and grill bits. One moment. Stick that in there. Yep. Nice. Yeah. That looks good. Um, yeah, there's a, a whole dashboard assembly and everything, too. And the print quality is superb. Resin, yeah. man. It's too poisonous for me. Uh, you but yeah, all kinds of weird stuff. No, I still have it, but uh, yeah. I don't use it very often. Yeah. Ford. 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 Ranger. Ford Ranger. So, yeah, lots of parts to make it very scale, which I'm... Uh, slowly doing but let's be honest everything really has to take a back seat now because yeah we have we less got, than two months we have stuff to do so you need to get work on your f toy while i send you this yeah and wouldn't it be just perfect timing that work has really picked up uh same so don't worry about it okay um i mean i'm always busy <laughs> yeah right yeah <laughs> Damn, i'm forgetting something nicole in mexico <laughs> but no, don't worry. Anytime you send her there, she gets sent immediately back. It's fine. So, <laughs> yeah, you need a passport to be held there. You need the correct passport to be held. There. <laughs> uh, yes, very much looking forward to Colorado. Uh, and then we have to start thinking about Pro by the Fire. PLBTF. So, what we're going to do for that? Is that yeah. what we're going to? try to break the rugged radios oh that's a good idea that they may really like that idea of us <laughs> <laughs> all right it's the discus <laughs> <laughs> did you ever do like the egg drop thing in school yeah yeah maybe we should do that yeah. how how, how can, we can we not break it, it? yeah <laughs> how much more rugged can Make this Ru right. yeah. ruggeder DX6. <laughs> it's like encased in foam. Yeah. You have to stick your hand into it. <laughs> Looks like you're trying it's to big. deliver a calf. When this you're steering your wheel. <laughs> Turn it or it looks like one of those things you guys right? were talking about Googling earlier. Just <laughs> What is that? Was Don't I here that. for that? Oh, God. They know. <laughs> <laughs> Degenerate in this chat now. Uh, <laughs> nine pounds of DPU. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did print a TPU cover for the Radio Master MT12. Oh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> now it's rugged. <laughs> Darts a degenerate. Uh, check your passes as you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love our fans. You filthy <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Is that on an episode that I haven't listened to yet? No, it's just a okay, thing. Okay, just I'm, regular. Just, just regular yeah. you guys. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is the years of internet experience, you know. Oh, it never goes away. Those things no. just, they you never forget those. Burn themselves in the back of your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's nope, just that's life. Just life. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Mold's <laughs> radio condom. <laughs> uh, Wichter, sorry, there is no more space in the it's in the group buys section but um yeah it was the thing we, we talked about it on this show a, a long mean, time I ago i can't believe that nobody doesn't you know nobody religiously wouldn't watch don't this you show watch the show every time it's on <laughs> yeah. uh it was a year ago that we talked about this i think and then yeah a couple months after that it kind of became a reality so yep it's happening so, yep, that's uh, that's definitely too bad that you know it couldn't be just be a product that lasts forever, but it's also super ugly, and 
<laughs> not marketable at all. I no. did remember I tried to sell the idea to Proline. I was like, hey guys, I think I got the next one for you. Pretty I, copy body. I got your next power wagon. Shapow. And then they went, thanks. Spam. <laughs> Delete that email. <laughs> Spam reported. <laughs> August 2023. There you go. Right. Yep. I'm so glad Thomas watches this show religiously. Yeah, exactly. And then decided to do a couple him. hundred hours worth of work, you know, or more. So probably more. Yeah, I've, probably. I've held the OG Suga. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dogan. How are you? <laughs> Jake Concepts would surely make them. Oh, Somehow dude. they would make that body uglier, but worse. <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> they would. They would somehow, like, that ass would not yeah. be on. It. it might it would just be, but it might have a crease in it like <laughs> just break right down the center yeah just there's a button slightly there, off center know. to be weirder like <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> will it be named the suga daddy oh <laughs> how come that's the first time we've heard that joke yeah no the j concepts sugar Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's the winner. <laughs> uh, or it'd be like it would be something even worse. Like they'd call it like the Splenda or something. Yeah. I just forgot to put it, put it on TF2. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. They would. Oh, there'd be no God. detail at all in the body, and it would be yeah. really super thin. <laughs> Jake just... concepts, but donk. Ah, uh, <laughs> just, just terrible. <laughs> uh, Thomas, whatever number Matt said mine was, that's not the real one. You just make sure that the first one is good. Don't, don't put a, <laughs> don't put a crease in mine, please. Yeah. Thomas, give him one of the blems. Uh, Dan P, thank you very much. The French could make it worse. <laughs> Oh, if it's anything like their Formula One team, absolutely correct. We're not talking about we'll it. Talk yet. about that later. So, uh, anyway, well, that's so uh, that's been pretty fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop annoying people by obsessing about buggies. I yeah, I posted we'll a talk about other things. I had posted a yes. story the other day of uh, it was just a bee covered in pollen. It's like I know not yeah. what moderation is. I said, yeah. I've never had anything just speak to me more. Then I'm really build. No, just like I did moderation. Like I'm like, nope. This is the thing I'm obsessed about. This is all I think about. This is all I want to do. Like, that's yes. Yep. That is. It. I. I. It was. What were we talking about today? Rebecca and I were talking about something, and I was. I made some joke about something or other, and she goes, oh, "How did it go?" I was like, oh, some people take these things way too seriously, you know? Like, they're just, like, really into stuff, like, really hardcore. And she goes, yeah, and then some people buy their own helmets for go-karting. <laughs> I was like, mm. mm, mm. Touche. Oh, oh. <laughs> that does sound a little like me. I would never say the sentence you said, because I would immediately know that was just getting hit back in my face. Yeah, I know. That's I know. Nicole, we were sitting there. She's just like, yeah, why don't you just, you know, take a break, relax, and, you know, like, re recoup. I'm like, this is relaxing. This is I am relaxed. Like, this is, or, you know, she's like, well, you know, like, yeah, just, you know, do this and, you know, just relax. And I'm like, why do you not think that this isn't, like, I'm not doing this because I have to, I want to do this. This is all I want to do. She's like, yeah, I can't understand. I can't understand that part. I keep thinking that I hope that you're going to say something different, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Not it's not go kart related, but I was talking to one of my fellow kartists tonight, and uh, he I mentioned that I had the YouTube channel, and he checked it out. And he goes, "Wow, that is a really cool job. That is amazing." I went, "It is not a job. It does not pay the bills. It is not <laughs> a job. It is a hobby." Yeah, he's like, "Oh, what do you oh. do for real work?" Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, so. 
This is just the fun. Oh, this is your no. fun. Interesting. Interesting. You make, you Seems like a lot of effort. Yeah. <laughs> I I have to I really uh I pick my audience before I talk about my <laughs> my yeah hobby. Yeah. Slash well, somebody else was like, he's a he's a YouTuber because he like subscriber. Um no, tell Josh it's a blem, but send him a good one and let him agonize. <laughs> Listen, that you, you got wrong. the wrong guy. I'm not. I'm not that guy. Little defects like that. That's not. Nah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. well, in case of lice, and the helmet purchase isn't so bad. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> you just never know what kid with a big, well, medium size, medium sized head. It's just like itching away in there. Yuck. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, yeah. I am relaxed, damn it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's basically it. I am having fun. I like this. <laughs> uh, Zool next to Phoenix for size. Do I have a Phoenix in here? Which one, Is the Phoenix the one that you guys made? It's the blue one, right? I hate, I hate your face. <laughs> look, I haven't... Look, just hang on. Oh, making a mess. Oh, Hope you this over. one's so because of all that metal on the back. Oh, that's right. The CC hand. Oh, Dead. Or C-chand. C-chand, true. We, we could not be sure. Oh, Zul is tiny. Yes, it is. It is very tiny. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Brian. Much appreciated. Yes. Thank you, Ryan. Um, Who did it better? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, so is Matt or Josh going to show up first for a ride in the portal wagon? Is that what you've? Is that what, what? Dogen has uh, named the Holzfab buggy? Portal wagon, eh? Portal wagon. It's a good name. It's a good looking buggy too. Um, you good definitely name. have a higher probability of me showing up in uh, Utah because it sounds like something I would do. Because I, I love, love Utah. Utah. I've never uh, been. You've never been to Utah? Oh, it's no. The Arizona was pretty nice. Have you been to Scottsdale? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that's become a meme somehow. Oh, oh I know. That's, oh, so good. Uh, that's who so was good. it that uh, it was uh, Telguided? He had posted the his bench setup, getting ready for the build along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Scottsdale. Scottsdale. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, Turbo Row, thank you very much. Please buy Rebecca a drink on me. And thanks for sending the stickers. You're welcome. And thank you. I will definitely. Five bucks isn't gonna get. I'll, that's like, that's an A white claw. So I will buy her a white claw. There you go. That'll do. Thank it. you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell her it's also for the new motorcycle. <laughs> that is one way to really piss off Rebecca, I think. Oh yeah. For one, you don't have a garage. So two, the no. motorcycle. To motorcycle in the build the build along i was uh since i did the channel membership thing i've been doing like kind of nightly videos just super candid stuff and i was like it's, it's, don't judge my garage in this one like it's disgusting it's ridiculous and uh it, oh it might have been on the bender video uh, <laughs> uh one of the guys had commented he'd be like oh don't feel bad at all my wife the other day came into the garage while i was out there and says where's your motorcycle <laughs> he had a, a, like they had like a carbon cub and some other stuff covered. Like, yeah, see, it's here. <laughs> it's under. It's right under this stuff. See, it's uh, it's still there. I'm like, thank you, thank you. That makes me. <laughs> I'm not far. From Don't it, judge me, Jeremy. I have a lot of trucks to drive, and some <laughs> of them get dusty. <laughs> uh, Verpine, Verpine, Verpine. Thank you very much. I like Leaf Springs. They make scale more scale on the proper models. Agreed. And wait until I you see a VS410 with Leaf Springs. It's going to be so hot. Uh, 
Scottsdale? Wait. Scottsdale? Matt shopping for a Corvette? <laughs> Try Scottsdale. <laughs> it's like a commercial. I feel like you should do a, an ad read for Scottsdale in one of your next videos. Just not, not actually sponsored, but do it like so. <laughs> Uh, I still haven't received my stickers yet. Uh, they ship from Canada. can take 5 to 15 business days. That doesn't include weekends. If you don't get them by, say, the end of this week, reach out, send me an email via the email address for PayPal, and I will look into your purchase, and I will either ship you a new set or refund your money. There you go. Uh, Dr. President Legend Buck Dandy. Absolutely love the Canada South. It is fun. And... The, I don't think that's what he's talking about. You know what? Uh, I think it is. I think it is. Do you? He's a channel yeah. member. You My dirty. It. That helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, now I can get her a martini. <laughs> Ooh. Or whatever they drink in Scottsdale. Oh, <laughs> the prickly pear um, margarita. That was a that was a crowd favorite during the trip. Oh, she loved those, man. Well, <laughs> not in not in a bad way. She appreciated them. You should she do PS responsibly. Yeah. Thank you very much, Turbot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friend. You don't know. JR, is this show still on Lawson? Thanks for the nightly videos. Love the almost leak servo content. What did you almost leak? I didn't almost leak anything. I bleeped it. Once I realized that I had got a message from someone who heard, but it wasn't, he heard from somebody who knew, not because he saw it on the internet, but I'd already filmed. So I fixed, fixed it in post. It's easy to do. Those guys. Zool Schmutz. I got slimed because it's a Ghostbusters joke. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Turbo wrote. Thank you very much. Thoughts on Armageddon at Freedom Factory in May? Oh, I know you're a cleater too. Man, I can't make no, it. No, you May don't have I time. This coming up in June. I want I am absolutely wanting to go to an event down at the Freedom Factory. It is on my like I want to do it this year. Nicole wants to go to Florida anyway, and I feel like I can just like slide that in as a like a hey, like just saying uh so pilot ryan man thank you very much my garage visually off limits neighbors youtube all the things <laughs> i uh i can understand that mine should be and i have a lot of shame but evidently not enough so homer hide your shame <laughs> <laughs> so yes anyway there you go. The Reef's 900 LP? Is that a thing? Or is that what you leaked? I didn't say anything about it. 9250? Who knows? I don't know. I don't have anything. Don't know, don't know a thing. Never never muttered those words. I'm just saying. What is that? You make it scale are, sliding? Uh, yeah, for my for my box. Oh, it is scale siding. Yeah. It is okay. So is there any more progress on it? No. No? No, I printed 16 of these so far. I need like 40 more. Oh, my God. Look at this. Nerf bullets. Thank you very much. Uh, just getting back into RC. Last time was 88. Both your insurance for cost me thousands of RC parts. Thanks for the videos. Keep the great work. Thank you very much. And uh, That's amazing. And congratulations. There's never been never, a better time to be in this hobby. Never a better time. Technology. 88 talk. sucked. <laughs> uh, although, that would have been, I think, the Avanti came out in 88, didn't it? Don't ask me. You can ask it may me have come in, out in 2008, but I was, uh, I didn't get into RC until 2004. Mm. So... That's and Matt, is, Matt is still building Tamias from then. You are <laughs> so correct. I've got an Avanti. <laughs> Grasshopper was 88. Dang. I've got an Avanti and a what's the other one? Egress. Got both of those to build. Uh, 88? That was five. Samesies. 
DK, I've always wanted to ask you this. Is that you? Yes, that's DK. Okay. So that, I'll be sure. That is he. So when I see you in real life, I know when to punch you right in the face. Yeah. <laughs> for, this is all for all that stuff you said. I don't remember what it was, but... Yeah. Funny jokes and stuff. <laughs> making me laugh. I was 11. Ah, yeah, I was right. Yeah, suck on that, everybody. March 31st, 1988. There was a riot. I was 11. Let me wait, were you? Wait, that's And when Adavanti came out, I was like, uh, I must have you. April 26th. And then I got one when I was 42. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Dude, no one would know the difference. (laughs) Yeah. Other than it would obviously be a terrible screenshot. Yeah. Oh, JR, is this show still on? Thank you very much. When are we going to hear about your kart racing? 15 minutes till the end. Did you video this week's race? It is 15 minutes till the end. Uh, No, I didn't. Okay. So we can't watch. I'll tell you why. Okay, why? Uh, Well, twofold. One. You forgot it. I forgot one of the, the knob things to tighten it to the thing. The mount. Yep. That happens. Yep. That'll happen. Two, didn't need to, because when you're first, there's nothing to film. You're first in the slow heat. Yes. Okay. I was going to <laughs> guess that you made it into the fast heat. That was going to be my guess. Guess how many hundreds I was out from being in the fast group. Eleven. Three one hundreds. Ooh, so close. Yep. So. I was gonna guess. I had I had faith that you were gonna be in there. You, so you still let yeah, me dude. down, but congrats. Um, <laughs> I think I'm doing a lot better than uh, the last time because yeah, the last and race, like you I told us, most 19. of the good guys quit. So that was it's why true. I was. <laughs> well, actually, no. Two of the best guys quit, and they were replaced by two of the other best guys. Okay, okay, I'll allow it then. Um, yeah. So that's so you're eleventh, and you maintained eleventh mm-hmm. the entire race. I did. Uh, there that's was only good. one challenge, which I shut the door on right away. Nice, nice. Yeah, like it. Yeah. At one point, one of the guys in the sidelines who I did not see, he was telling me to just start taking the fast line because I was so like I was ahead enough that you didn't nobody was going to gonna catch me. You didn't need to protect. Nice. Yeah, but I didn't well, see that. So I yep. kept protecting, which made it harder for me for the rest of the race. <laughs> but uh, I was really happy. Someone That's has good. to win the B main. May as well be you. Yeah, I felt uh, much more in control this time. Uh, lap times were reasonable. Uh, but like, and like I said, three 100s, I would have been in the fast group. Well, that that's uh, that's going to make the rest of these pretty interesting. So yeah, it actually is. It um, it's not going to be um, as big a spread this time. Yeah. I don't think. For, I think it's going to be a lot more interesting. Uh, now that makes uh, next week's polls very. In, in, you know, it's going to be. Did Matt make a main? Yeah. Oh, good chances. Uh, good was chance. there a poll? There was not. This week. I'm just saying. Like, okay. I was right. thinking about doing it. I'm just like, and then I didn't. So, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. But, Felt like I'm that, figuring it out, which is good. That is awesome. <laughs> this is so funny, though. My fastest lap was my last one again <laughs> for qualifying. Amen. Exactly. Amen. Amen.com <laughs> for all of your Canadian <laughs> shit. Or even if you're in America, because I own. Yeah, you can still Amen. Google it there. <laughs> and uh, if you have they ever it, asked. Have they ever asked to buy that from you? They have not. Um, oh. Currently, it is a redirect through an affiliate link. So if you go to amain.com, it will send you to amain, but also through my affiliate link. So <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll never use that one again. What a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. So, well, we should thank some people, Matt. We have 10 yeah. minutes left. Yeah, let's do that. Um, the starred ones. So, so it doesn't thank you break it to down by... you didn't open viewer activity, did you? I did. I have that. I have that here. Uh, thank you to it. Black Sheep RC, Jeremiah Salberg, Phoenix RC, oh, for becoming a member, Dart Tanya for becoming a member, RC Garage Guy Customs, 
Team Garage Hack RC Concepts. Gunner, my meat belongs in your mouth. Listen, save yourself 10% on satisfied jerky with the code pinned in the chat. Dale Nemo for becoming a member. Tom Havel coming a member. Dr. President Legend Duck Buck Dandy. Michael Duck Bandy. Rajka. Rajka. I'm sure I'm doing that wrong. Ben Osborne. JR is this show still on Lawson Turbo Row, Pilot Ryan Media, and Nerf Bullets. Thank you, too. Cap oh, hey, this was before I was even on. Captain Insano shows no mercy. Thank you. Try some Crown Royal Peach and Sprite or 7-Up. <laughs> and if you're in Scottsdale, be sure to check out Il Familia uh, de Buffalo. Uh, <laughs> I, I said it right. Uh, Dr. President Legend Buck Dandy, uh, Thomas Bialzik, David Ferris, Dan P., Pilot Ryan Media, Turbo Row, Verpine, Turbo Row, and JR. Is this show still on Lawson? Thank you very much. Much appreciated, everybody. Now, make sure to go check out the back videos on the uh, buggy progress. Now, it's time for currently some down. Formula. Uh, formula. Uh, it was a disaster. Oh, it was. Oh, yeah, it is. Undergo, undergoing maintenance, so I can't check my scores. But I know I lost a bunch of points because two of my drivers crashed into each other on the first turn. Yes. Uh, that was... Uh, Danny Rick was one of mine as well, so I lost one of them on the first turn. Uh, and then was shortly followed by Joe just being like, nah. Eh, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so I also... Had two DNFs in the first 10 laps. Uh, so infuriating. Hamilton yeah. couldn't do anything. Hamilton, uh, I still have as well. There's just, yeah. I had Piastri, which was decent. Mm, yeah. Um, and then I had, who else did I have? Uh, Hulkenberg, who did not have a good race either. No. I don't remember who else I... Oh, I had I science, went, so at least I got some points there. I went from... But I did not do well. ...to 64th. I'm down to 55th, I believe. Or 40, so, 48th, I maybe. Yeah. Not a good week. Not a good week. Uh, the race was pretty decent, though. Yeah, it was a fun race to watch. Good, um, good uh, passing. Maybe yeah, of course. Some... Teams. Just constant <laughs> passing about. I don't know how the Alpines got passed 44 times. Did you hear there was a rumor posted today that they're looking to sell the team? But one of the stipulations of buying said team She's is that they are the team. ones that have to supply you engines. And it's like, well, that's a non starter then. Thanks anyway. Yeah. Thanks. No thanks. I mean, their engines aren't terrible. It's the car itself that is bad. Right. I mean, I think the highlight of the race was Stroll's Muppet voice radio talking about oh, how yeah. slow they were. I can't believe how slow it is. And Alonzo's in fifth. Like, yeah, right. Dude, I don't think it's the car. Like, mm, bruh. Like, mm. yeah. Y'all got the same parts this week, right? Yeah. Maybe his were installed upside down or something. Bah, yeah, I think. I, uh, like, Le Lawrence has put so much time and effort into that team to make it a good competitive team, and he's ruining it by letting his son drive the car. You know what? But father of the decade for that. Oh, like, totally. nope. I love you, Dad. <laughs> I love you. Here you go. Here is six hundred keys million. to the kingdom. <laughs> like, like, I'm just saying. So good. They can buy it. Yeah. Ride or die. So, but seriously, yeah. stop. So, but yeah, <laughs> seriously, get him out of the car. Yeah. I think. I think what's going to happen is because the driver market is so effed up for next year. I think I, if Checo finishes second in the in the drivers' championship this year, I think he retires. That would be a move on his part. I um, think it would be the wise move because he's not going to ever get that high again. No, no, he is in the place that will make him the. 
he's take it. Thank you. Yep. I will then, endorse your products and make my money forever. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, retires or gets retired? Same, same. Same, same. Same, same, but different. Um, yep. So, yeah, it's going to be the driver market next year is going to be absolutely nuts. I cannot. Wait. Where is science going to go? I know. Because you know he won't get a Red Bull seat as much as he deserves it. Mercedes, I don't think. I think Fittipaldi is going to, uh, or not, what's his name? No, yeah. you mean the other kid? Lim, uh, Limba, Limbiese? No, that's no. the engineer for Red Bull. Whatever, yeah. I'll jump here. <laughs> yeah, what, whatever that other kid's name is, um, I think he's getting the, the Mercedes seat, um, which sucks because then where is where is he going to go? And if he ends up in that Audi, it will be an absolute travesty. Yeah. It's, I just don't know. So, <laughs> gonna end it's up like Lawrence is world. throwing the biggest birthday party for Lance. Everyone's invited, but all Lance serves the guests is vegetarian pizza and apple juice. I mean, <laughs> hey. Uh, and uh, we've got Audi taking control of Sauber at the end of this year. Right, which is new because they weren't supposed to until 2026. But they're like, if you guys can't make nuts that go on, yeah, like on, then Antonelli, yeah. that's the guy. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, and we know Lawson Lawson's going to take Danny Rick's seat, maybe in a couple hopefully. races. Get Danny Rick out of there. Get he, him. Behind it's unfortunate an old because Red Bull to do cool videos for the internet. I like let Danny him, a lot. As let a him person. still be around in a way that we don't hate to see him. Yeah, I like him very much as a human being, but yeah. as a driver for a formula, uh, yeah. The, the rumors of Vettel is dead, I think, because he's doing um Porsche Le Mans. endurance, yeah, Le Mans. which is awesome. Yeah, that is a way better move for him. I mean, I would like to see Alonzo in that other Red Bull. Oh, that would be so awesome. That would be so sick. That would be so sick. Especially that would just be just the best. Embraced the team player role and just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just screwed everybody gave, else. Just only gave those like patronizing radio messages to the entire <laughs> race. Like, man, Max is just such a such a gentleman and a scholar and i that see was... him on the screen and it's it's the yeah. best pass i've ever seen that was a very good pass that i watched <laughs> uh, <laughs> i would say that my second favorite moment from after uh, stroll's radio would have been hamilton's radio uh and during the... no during the race oh should it's i quality quality rustle quality. by <laughs> What? <laughs> Who are you? You know how racing works. Still? Why? Why do you? Why do you have to be this person when I have you in a fantasy league? Like I've had him for five. I think I locked him in for five races. Yeah, a four. I have for four, and I'm just like, you're a dick every other time. <laughs> And I, I despise listening to your radio messages every time they come on. And this somehow made it worse. Yeah. God. Yeah. Lewis had, Formula toy for Ricardo. Uh, Lewis had did you hear problems? Admit, apparently. Mm, yeah. Okay, I bet. Sure. Whatever. He's uh, did you hear his comment about giving Piastri DRS with that was Alonzo, right? Where they asked him, so did you intentionally Give, give it and he's like i am not saying anything because i don't want the fia to come after me again. <laughs> i did not hear that yeah. oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so yeah i don't think this is true i don't I think, think it is either i think, I think people just, like to race i just whiny tone and it sounds like he doesn't care because he's yeah I think he's just, he's in a place where he knows he can't compete. And the car is junk. 
there's like remember the rumor that I mean, they Merck was going to offer a seat to Verstappen and just pay him an ungodly amount of money to come over. The only yeah. way I could see them doing that, the only way I could see Max saying that he would do it, is if they've Newey. already started development on 2026 and they've already got Newey locked in. I heard that Aston made Newey. They made an offer. Ridiculous offer. Yeah. I bet you he accepted it too. That money is money. Be, right? That would be incredible. If Aston got Newey and Alonzo stayed and Stroll still races. <laughs> and they've, and just Aston just bookmarks everything. First and 20th. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why these cars are so slow. <laughs> just, <laughs> like. It's not the, it's not the car, Lance. It would be incredible. And if that is the case, I want Lance in that car so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's for me. Oh, it says Josh. But thank you. Well, that doesn't matter. Josh, I'm putting together a package for you. I'm just waiting on a few things to finish up printing. I think you're going to like this. Thanks, nice. Jeremiah. <laughs> I'm not Josh. I like that you read it, though. Uh, knew he would rage quit after Stroll put his car in the wall for the tenth time. That would be speaking of people putting cars into walls. Um, the number of teams that don't have a spare chassis. Oh, is it more than just Williams? Alpine also doesn't have a spare. Sauber, I believe, also doesn't have a spare. That's why they yeah, keep it's weird. The stops are just like, oh, you can't go out now. <laughs> You stop now. Yeah. <laughs> we, look, we need 30 seconds to... Uh, oh, well, we don't have that part. Yeah, like... So bad. Oh, I just... All right. It is 8 o'clock. Much appreciated, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next week. For another uh, week. Yes, we will. Uh, live... No, not live. What's on the bench weekly tomorrow? Where I'll show you this again. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night, everybody. Love you. Bye.